so I'm hoping that I'm going to be seeing people are in the Redesign with Prima group and also in on Facebook and on the Redesign with Prima page on Instagram. So we're going to try this again. Uh, a couple of weeks ago I had a go at this and I'm using my iPad for Facebook and um, I can see lots of people popping on on Instagram which is lovely. I will try and answer some comments because Instagram I didn't realise that once you've posted your live you can't go back and answer so I will do my best. Say hello if you're there. Um, I can see people coming live on Facebook. Now the issue I had last time on Facebook was I didn't realise that I was being cropped and you couldn't see what I was doing top and bottom so I've put the camera a bit further back. If you can't see what I'm doing, if you can't see this whole piece of furniture, please let me know on Facebook. But I think everyone else, you should be good. Okay, I'm Nikki. I'm from Gracie's House. I'm a brand ambassador for Redesign with Prima and I'm based in the UK. We've seen lots of the new um, decoupage papers. I think you've probably seen um, an awful lot of the decoupage papers. So I decided I was going to do something different this week. Not that I don't love them, but I've run out of pieces to put them on right now, so I'm going to work with a transfer today. As I said, if um, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to pop a quick hello on Facebook because sometimes it helps comments come through. Okay, so I've got Blossom Flight. We're going with a classic, guys. We're going with a classic. Blossom Flight. Love it. And this cabinet behind me is what we're going to add it to. Now, when I originally painted this, it was entirely the, um, this was the plan. This was always the plan. And this has been painted several months. And my husband saw me painting it and he went, that'll go as it is. You don't need to put a transfer on there. <laughs> don't listen, husbands, what do they know? So it's not sold yet. Although I do think it's a lovely classic, um, very cottagey looking piece. I always wanted to add Blossom Flight, so instead, originally, I can't get the drawer out, um, it's got an older transfer called Sim Simplicity on the drawer side, but we're just going to leave those on there. If you haven't used Blossom Flight before, it comes in three sheets, and it's kind of a repeating pattern, so it does join, you can still cut it up, and that's what we're going to do today. So my, my main plan is I'm thinking I want to have, um, I did something similar on a pink unit with elegance and flowers and I had quite a bit down here and then I just had a little bit that came here and kind of wrapped around to that corner. So I'm going to kind of follow that, uh, I think I'm going to follow that pattern. Um, so I'm going to start with the bottom sheet and I'm just going to see how far over I want my transfer to actually sit. So um, no one's popped on Facebook and said that, um, that my head's being chopped off this week. So I think we're good. Um, good, good, good. So I think I'm going to um, keep that whole piece. I'm just going to see. Because I want it, I don't want it to just be a solid block like that. I don't want it to just end. I want it to kind of have a... Um, a more organic feel to the, to the finish of it. So this is where you start, you have to start thinking about where you're going to cut. So here's my joining pieces. Okay, so I think actually I am going to just trim off this piece here and there, and then, and then I'll, I can trim up here. So on this section, still working on the bottom section I'm just going to trim this branch off and then this branch so that the piece that will join to that doesn't come off um, Bev what's my Instagram name I'm Gracie's house which I oh I'm trying to remember my my um, my Instagram is Gracie's underscore house UK I think I really need to memorize that <laughs> so I'm just going to chop that bit off. Always keep your scraps because obviously when I do use that other piece I can um, I can use that later down the line so keep it and I'm just going to trim that off. And the great thing about where you've got the, um, the branches and they're very organic and they're very kind of water 
colour um, drawn, you can easily cut and it won't notice. So you're not going to miss this branch when you um, when you apply it. I'll pop that on there because that's a small piece. Okay, so we're just going to go and go straight on, stick it on, take your backing sheet off. Everybody okay? I hope everybody's. Um, yeah, I think Catherine. I can see you've just said morning. So I'm going to go here, and I just absolutely love the um, the greens in this beautifully with the green of oops, with the green of the cabinet. So I'm lining it up roughly with the bottom of the cabinet, and what I need to do is I just need to get some rub down because it's not going to it's not going to play games and stay there. So if we can get a bit started, there we go. And I'll do the same over here so that that piece doesn't keep dropping down. Um, I'm going to go like that. Just move my glass of water. I just want to make sure that you can all see what I'm doing. It's looking good. Instagram, I'll have to keep, keep zooming up. Hi from Brazil. Thank you. Um, and just seeing if there's any... Oh, don't want that to happen. <laughs> Luckily, we didn't have any issues there. That has happened to me before, and the bottom sheet is stuck. Some of it's stuck, so you do need to be really careful. Because I'm upright on this piece, I'm going to rub down um, rather than in an up and down motion. The, the tip I usually say is, so for, for lives, I, can, I tend to work this way so that everyone can see what I'm doing, and I can see the camera and comments, etc. If you're doing it at home, lay your piece on its back. It's much, much easier, much easier. Okay, so I have got some, some gaps to work with here and just where it, um, the inset in the door, nothing too tricky to deal with and we can do that i've got my craft knife you can use um a box cutter anything that's got a blade if you've got sharp scissors you can use your scissor blade none of that should be too much of an issue today but i will be showing you how to deal with those you could cut yourself separate sections and um and apply them separately if you wanted to, if you if you feel a bit overwhelmed as a whole piece project right this minute, if, you know, if it's one of your first, you can cut those pieces up. Okay, so I'm just going to run my blade down through the um, where my door meets the frame, and then in a minute we can fold that round the edge. same along here so again I'm just following the line and letting the, the frame and the door guide me I'm going to go right up to the edge there because again we've got a bit of an inset and we've got a hinge so I'm just going to take it right up to that edge but that gives us a section to work on I'm hoping you can all hear me okay Hi from Paul. Oh, that's um, Paul down in Dorset. That's near where I grew up. And love the base colour. Yes, this is um, a custom colour. It's one of the Dixie Belle recipes. So it's called Cactus. And um, it is a half 50-50 mix of kudzu green and Spanish moss. The mossy one. Vintage moss. Spanish moss, I think it's called. Yeah. Um, so again, it's, it's sort of quite farmhousey, quite organic. Um, what else I've got? Hi from Spain, Flavia. So I've got another uh, another door here. So I'm going to do exactly the same. And how is everybody? I've got my workshop doors open. You might be able to hear the birds. We've had some work going on in the background, so you might be able to hear that as well. It's quiet for the minute, but. The sun is it's spring, guys. It's spring. Awesome. Actually, 
because I've got no I've got no transfer here, so I can just cut this piece off. That bit I forgot to get. So I'm going to just come back to that piece in a second. So we've got a little bit of twig on the bottom there. Okay. So each um, each transfer tube comes with the tool. Hello, fromage French. <laughs> okay. Uh, if there is anything in, in non-English, then I'll have to try and work it out. <laughs> so here is where there's another, there's another, but we've also got like a level difference. So I'm just going to have to run it and I'm going to, I'm aiming to use this pillar as a guide on this piece. So we'll just get that in there. That works really nicely. I hope you can hear me reasonably well when I'm not facing the camera. I'm doing my best to talk in a loud voice. So I'm gonna I'm gonna work with this this little section because this isn't joined to anything any of the rest of it now so that we can get a little reveal done straight away. Okay. And I always recommend that you continue to rub as you're lifting your top sheet off. You don't want any of it to fold back on itself. And as you know, there's always the chance you may have missed a section. Good bone to use this. I know it's so not. Do you know what? I'd love to use it more. I, I, it's just there's so many to choose from, but it is one of the beautiful. Um, I just I don't think it'll ever get boring to use. And there's so many ways you can put it together. And it looks good on so many background colours as well. So, and then we talk about burnishing. I, um, you can use your finger. I also like these microfiber cloths. And when we talk about burnishing, we just talk about rubbing down all those, so you've got the adhesive that kind of goes outside the printed area. And um, that's what you want. You want to burnish that down. You want to make sure that all that adhesive has a good contact with your piece. And this is what goes a long way to reducing what a lot of people call the halo which is basically it's just it's the glue it's the adhesive that um, that flows outside of the print line hi from Ukraine hi from Hudson Ohio hello everybody so I'm just going to keep working like that basically and that's and that's how you know like I said if you want to work in sections it's a really um, you know, making your slices will, will enable you to work in smaller sections. So if you do feel a bit daunted, if you, you're starting out, if it's your first go, it's a good way to work. And can you see there where, I, where it's got a difference in level? So this, this sticks out more than, than the door. I've just cut it flush down the side. So there's none to wrap around the corner, but it's just a clean finish there for you. No, no more questions. Okay, good, good, good. I'm going to crack on. Okay, so here, we're now, I'm now looking at this piece here. And um, this would work with drawers that have got a frame with an inset. Um, what's the name of this transfer? This one is called Blossom Flight. Um, so yeah, if you've got a, a, a drawer with a frame and an inset, this is this is a good way to work um, to work that out. If you don't want to have to work in all those ridges, this one's easier because it's straight. If you've got all those kind of shaped mouldings, a bit more difficult. But I'm gonna basically do the same as I did here. I'm gonna cut from this edge, 
might have to just switch sides for a second because I'm a righty. I'm going to use that edge as a guideline again and I'm going to go right down to the bottom. I'm going to do the same here. And then I'm going to do the same on that bottom edge as well, if I can get my knife in there. There we go. So I'm going right along that bottom edge and then that piece will sit into that recess. Just like that. So I'm hoping I wasn't in the way too much while I was doing that. I'm hoping you can just see it. Yeah, the, 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 do you know what? They're all great. These transfers are awesome. Um, now you don't need to uh, you don't need to seal your piece before uh, adding a transfer. Redesign transfers you do not need to do that. But this piece was sealed purely because I listed it as was because my husband thought it would sell without a transfer. Not that I loved proving him wrong. I finally got round to sticking blossom flight on which is what I wanted to do all along he's great for taking stuff to the van <laughs> if anyone knows um, oh I'm going to have to remember his name now we've got a comedian over here in the UK uh, Mickey Flanagan and he, there's a joke about taking stuff to the van you don't get to drive the van you just get to take stuff to the van so this has also got these grooves here I'm just kind of going over them once I've lifted the top sheet for those pieces I can just push them in using my cloth I will press, press them in but I don't want to start wrinkling um, the application of everything else so I was saying wasn't I so in each transfer tube you'll transfer and you also get the stick um, I've also got the transfer tool which is quite handy if you've got you know, if you want to get into those little creases, it's got shapes on it which help you go around corners and really press into um, different areas of your, of your piece. And I quite often switch between the two. It's just what feels best on the particular piece that I'm doing at the time. So I've just pulled the door open so that I can fold those little extra bits round. So the little bits of twig that I've got there, I just needed to be folded round. Make sure all the little, all the little branch ends and all the little, um, you know, bird feet and things. You just want to make sure they're all sat down. What brand of paint is a happy colour? This is um, a Dixabel um, mixed colour. It's 50, 50 50 kudzu and I think Spanish moss, but it's called cactus. Is the recipe colour? Um, do you seal the transfer after? Yes, you do need to seal the transfers after. You can use wax uh, or you can use a water-based top coat. Um, if you go onto the into the Redesign with Prima group, there's a file section at the top which will give you a, a whole list of recommended um, top coats, all different brands. I personally have used um, Polyvine wax finish varnish. I've used Dixie Belle. We don't recommend that you use Gator Hide because it can affect and lift 
cause cracking. If you do want to put it on a piece, if you do want to use gator hide, then at least two coats of a satin type finish first and then gator hide. That has been successful for quite a lot of people. Um, but I also use, um, currently using paint couture top coats. Beautiful finish. Really love, love, love the satin finish. Um, that's the one I've been using uh, uh, lately. It's gone on nicely. I'll keep moving around. So we're we kind of working on this door, the frame section here. And I'm just doing this because I'm going to wrap those bits around the edge. So you can just rub, just rub um, kind of on the diagonal okay, because you, what you don't want to do is start lifting any of your paint with your transfer tool, whether that be the stick or the, the tool itself. There we go. And then when you're lifting your top sheet, just go over again with your finger or your cloth. Um, some people have used, you know, the little um, like waxing sponge pads that you get refinishing your car they're quite good because they're, they're microfiber as well can it transfers be applied over the dixie bell silk paint line they can indeed i have done it they go on lovely because um, although it has a built-in top coat um, you still need to seal it because obviously you're adding the transfer over the top of the paint but yes absolutely you can I hope I'm catching everyone's questions on Instagram. I haven't seen any. Uh, I haven't seen any comments on Facebook. So if there is comments coming in, I can't see them. I will catch up with those afterwards. I'm doing my best to answer anything on Instagram because, as I said, I didn't realise that once it had been posted to Instagram TV, IGTV, you can't you can't go back and reply to comments. So apologies if anyone commented last on my last Instagram live and I didn't reply. That was completely didn't know. <laughs> so it's going on really, really nicely. Um, I'm just going to burnish down here. I'm going to make sure all my bits are wrapped around that edge. Oh, it's, I just love this transfer. Hi, um, who got there? Stuco Victoria. Hello. Okay, I do love this transfer. And when I haven't used it for a while, it makes me smile when I use it again. I'm gonna only switch sides. And, and of course, because this is a really spring day as well, so it's really nice. Um, you know, the sun's out, the birds are tweeting. I've just got a bit of glue there that I don't want. There we go. Let's get the paint off. And I'm going to have to open my door and just wrap those edges round on, on this piece. Just got a little bit there that didn't didn't transfer over, so I'm just gonna reposition. There we go. Okay, tiny bit that's going over the uh, hinge that I'm gonna get rid of. Craft knives are your one of your best friends when you're applying transfers. I'm just gonna scrape that off. I'll do that later. Anyway, you don't need to see me doing that. I'm just going to open the door wide to get those um, those other pieces 
fold it in so that it gives you a nice neat finish there and then we can crack on with it just see that the best place to purchase a good assortment of transfers are there any geometric designs um and i'll go i'll come back to that one in just a sec name of this transfer is blossom flight geometric there isn't really any um no there isn't anything that i can think of with the top of my head it is something that i have suggested so who knows um best place to get to purchase renewed by the, the sea where are you from are you uk are you us are you anywhere else in the world um there is um you can there is a if you go on the redesign with prima website um there's a section to find stores so that's the best place for you to um start um, and you can search for online stores or and or actual bricks and mortar stores that way too you just need to give it a little bit harder roll. I'm hoping everybody's okay. Hi from Germany on Facebook. Um. Yeah, sometimes one little one little bit might need. Hi, uh, who we got there? Hi, sorry, sorry. I'm trying to read. I probably need glasses. Do you have to cut the transfer between each groove? On this particular one, the grooves aren't very big, so I'm not going to. When I remove my top sheet, I'm just gonna use my cloth to push it into those grooves. If your grooves are a bit deeper, you probably would want to, or you'd wanna fit it in, do a groove, and then depending, like I said, on how deep your grooves are, because you might get cracking. These are so tiny, it's not gonna make a big difference on this one. a noise isn't it sorry <laughs> and thank you for the uh was it michelle i can see michelle in the in the name that you, thank you for loving my stuff <laughs> top sheet slowly um, I've done it several times you get all excited kind of want to rip it off and just see how amazing it looks and uh, and then some of it comes with it and half of it comes with it and then that pulls and you're in a mess do it slowly and then if it's not released completely from the top sheet you, you can still rub just a little bit more to get it off a new stool it's supposed to help with your posture uh, have I got any more questions no sorry if it looks weird but I keep looking and straining to read the camera it's just making sure that I haven't got any comments that I've missed on Instagram Essentially, this looks like quite a simple project and it will be effective and it is simple. We're not layering transfers, it's a one colour finish, it's one transfer, but um, you know, there's, there's 
there's edges, there's creases, there's grooves, there's an inset panel. So we're having to deal with all sorts of things and each piece of furniture will be different and you'll, um, you'll often, there's always something. You'll never ever, very rarely, will have a piece of furniture that's completely flush. It just, it just doesn't seem to happen. Um, oh, hang on, I'm just, just checking. Oh, 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 oh. No, can't get rid, can't get the comment in. There we go. Sharon, late to the live, what paint colour? Oh, okay, that paint colour is, it's, um, it's a Dixie Bell. I painted it months ago. It's a Dixie Bell recipe called Cactus. So it's half kudzu green and half the moss colour. <laughs> I can never remember. So yeah, you, you know, you're going to be, if you have every single piece of furniture that you ever do in your career or in your house, if you're doing it for yourself, if everything's flat, you are lucky, so lucky, <laughs> because they're just, there's always something, on my pieces anyway, that, um, that slow me down. I've got lots of these, these are sparrows on this transfer, and I've got loads flittering around my garden at the moment. Gracie loves all of the birds being around. anyone used this transfer before? What is the brand of this transfer? We're on the Redesign with Prima um, page here, so these are all Redesign with Prima products. Elaine, is that Elaine? I think, sorry. I definitely need glasses. <laughs> I'm from Chile. Um, where did I get my stool from? Trusty eBay. Do you know what? There's tons. eBay, Amazon. Um, it's just, it's more like um, I think they have them in salons, it's more like a, but it's called a saddle stool, it's supposed to make you sit upright. And actually, I've had lower back problems the last oh, few weeks, and I have to say, this, is, this arrived yesterday, so today's the first day in the workshop. I'm feeling good today, the back's good. Um... I just realised that I spend so much time on the floor, like when I do lives, I'm always on the floor. Um, so yeah, I, I'm so far so good, loving the stool. Because I have got a little low one that's also on wheels, but um, I think it's too low actually for me. This one as well can go up higher. I've also got a hydraulic lifting table cover, which is going to be awesome. I've gone a bit glitchy on Facebook, sorry. Not yet purchased from Helen. Oh, Blossom Flight, yes. You just get one because, I mean, for a long time, it was out of stock for ages, everywhere. How pretty! As I said, you can burnish with your fingertip. The heat from your fingertip will just make sure that everything's um, stuck down. As I said, I'm just using my cloth. I'm just going to run with my thumbnail down through those grooves, just to make sure we've got contact in the, in the groove. If it lifts a little bit, I'm not too fussed, but it's going in quite well. So, as I said, if your grooves are a bit deeper, these really are very, very shallow. If your grooves are a little bit deeper, you might want to cut them so you've got a clean line. 
It's beautiful colour choice, thank you. It's, um, do you know what, I was just gagging to put this on green. Really, really want to get this transfer, Blossom Flight, on green. And I love it. So thank you, I'm glad you do too. So I'm just doing this little tiny sliver here now. we've got it's curving around a little bit because we've cut around the edge so I'm just going to do that with my thumb so I'm just going to curve around use my cloth That bit's gone on very nicely as well. So let's just see how we're doing for time. Okay, we could do it. We could get another section done. Let's get this drawer done, and I'm hoping to put the next sheet on as well. So I'm just going to do this part of the panel exactly the same principles I did on this one. Um, Karen, is it Elvis Parsley? Do you know what? I think I think Elvis Parsley is probably a little bit mintier than this. This is a piece I painted several months ago and my husband said, oh, you don't need to put a transfer on there. What does he know? So it's not sold, it gets the transfer. So it's a Dixie Belle recipe. <coughs> Sorry I'm in your way guys, but I was just, so I've just slipped, cut here, followed my door line again like I did earlier. And then that will sit into that inset nicely. And you have to remember, you know, the first transfer I did did take me time. And some will take you more time than others, um, for sure. Um, Oh crikey, did anyone watch last week's live? Oh. Curves, just all sorts was causing me all sorts of problems. Um, and there'll be some, it, it'll, you know, it'll, just don't try and rush it. It's always worth it. Because you imagine trying to hand paint all of this. I wish I could hand paint like this. <laughs> So I'm just constantly rubbing, constantly lifting that top sheet as I go. And small sections, just make sure that you, you know, everything's stuck down as you want it. Okay. Just go around that edge with anything that's on the edge. So I've just got that in set to do now. And it's all also, it's kind of important to have a plan. Um, hi, Ren. Uh, it's good to have a plan when you're adding your transfer. Um, it's, it's like when you're layering um, a transfer, you need to know what your ultimate finished piece you want it to look like. You don't want to have a bigger flower hiding most of a smaller flower, unless you want it that way. This one, I wanted, you know, I, I, this is exactly how I wanted it to fit into those insets. So you need to have a plan on how you're going to deal when you've not got that flat surface.
Do I hear cockatiels? Oh, do you mean, wouldn't it be lovely if it was cockatiels? No, that's just our wild sparrows and blackbirds and nothing fancy like cockatiels. How lovely would that be though? I wish. Francie, you're late. It is a pretty green. Don't worry about being late. It's, um, we're working with Blossom Flight. This is a pre, I painted this piece months ago. It has been top coated. So although you do not need to top coat first, you do not need to seal your paint before adding a redesign with Prima Transfer. If you have a piece that's top coated and then you decide you want to um, add a transfer later, you don't have to strip that top coat back off of your piece. I know the but oh, do you know I love it now that I can have my workshop doors open. It's so nice. And you can always tell when the sun's out because the birds start. was the first of my Redesign with Prima projects. No, nope, got all the comments, okay. I can't sit down. I'm just going to stand up to finish this piece so that um, I'm not in the way of it. So this is where the plastic tool might come in handy for you guys. You thought you've got a bird or two in your house. It's coming out lovely, isn't it? It's, I'm really pleased. Um, this, this will just, just where the edge is finer, you'll be able to get it into those, into those nooks and crannies a little bit more. Makes more noise, don't you think? <laughs> I think it makes more noise. Yeah. Okay. So, I'll just put the little bit there that's caught itself. Just gonna just do those creases. what you don't want you want to make sure that all of your transfer has contact if it doesn't there's a chance that when you top coat it the um, if there's any air trapped in there it can lift it um, it is a pretty piece thank you Kelly What's got there? jealous of the bird song oh thank you what is the name of the paint color Ren it is um, it's a Dixie Belle recipe and it's called cactus which is a 50 50 mix of um, sorry, my brain went completely blank then. A 50-50 mix of kudzu and Spanish moss, the mossy one, yeah. So we're going in with the next sheet. And so here's the piece that I cut off, uh, the, the branches that we removed. So I'm keeping, I'm keeping this one, but what I can do here, you see, is I can just trim to the little birdie here. I think that's what I'm going to do. No, I'm not actually. I'm going to cut up here instead. Um, so then I can trim here and go up like that. Yep. Okay. So we're keeping that bird, but I'm going to trim up that branch. Concentrating, cutting. <laughs> Sorry, I always go quiet when I'm cutting. And you see, 
what I'm going to end up with is a piece that I can use over here just to kind of give it a little frame, like a little kind of corner to corner vignette. Oh, I'm trying, do you know what, it's tricky to try and answer the questions and work and get like a decent amount of work done. <laughs> do my best. <laughs> so I'm going to go straight in with the next sheet. How are we doing? About 15 minutes left-ish. So we need to line it up with our, whoops, line it up with our previous sections, if you can. The heat from your hand will often be enough to activate the glue enough to keep your um, to keep that stuck or start sticking it. It's lovely on the green, isn't it? You've got fuchsia sunset. Oh, pretty! I've not used that one yet. Maybe I'll have to dig that one out. So we, we're doing exactly the same, we're just doing the top of the door. So I'm going to slice down using this as a guide and then that whole piece will stick to the, to the door. So I'm just going to, uh, I'm trying to do it without getting in the way, but I'm probably not doing a very good job of that. Right the way down. Make sure we're still lined up. That is looking good. Again, I'm just going to use my, the heat from my hands to get that bit stuck so I don't have to worry about taping it or sticking it down. You can tape your, your top sheets. Um, you can tape your top sheets to the thing as long as you trust your paintwork. Sometimes you'll find that you, you might start lifting your top sheet and one piece just doesn't want to lift and it will literally be the very, very, very edge of your, um, of your transfer. Always concentrate right around the edges when you're trying to start lifting, when you start to lift your top sheet. So all these tiny little pieces that are branches, the little bird legs and beaks and things. leaf left. There we go. So again we're just going to any tiny tiny little bits we're just going to wrap around that corner. I'm going to burnish. Now we talk about the halo, I talked about that at the beginning. Uh, looks lovely, thank you Abigail. Yeah we talked about the halo if anyone ever sees um, people talk about the halo. More obvious on darker colours much more obvious on darker colours. Um, but I can barely see anything. I mean, I can do a close-up right at the end. Oh, no, I'm not going to because it's I can't deal with two cameras. <laughs> two phones, two devices. Um, but burnishing well does go a long way to stopping that, um, see, that appearance of the halo. So I'm going to do the same as we did down below. I'm going to run my knife right down using the edge as a guide and come across there. There we go. So that, that sits in. Oops, perhaps it's not, not quite. There we go. That then sits in. I just want to make sure I'm all still lined up with my branches. Yes, I am. 
Good, good. We might just get this, this section finished, I think, guys, before I have to sign off. And then next time you see it, it'll, have, it'll be all finished. <laughs> sun gets onto my workshop, it doesn't take long before it warms up. There we go, next door. They must have been on lunch break at work for next door. Um, why do you cut before you burnish? Um, I'm not sure what you mean. Oh, you mean, why did I cut here? So I'm rubbing each section. This is an inset panel. I don't know if you've been with us from, from the beginning. So there's an inset. So I've had to cut so that that piece sits in where I want it to. Um, so the, the, the rubbing here is burnishing, but we also burnish once we've taken the top sheets off. I hope that's what you mean. So those of you on Instagram, um, if you haven't already, um, I couldn't work out how to write all the comments in Instagram. What tool am I using? Ren, this one comes, this is just like a big popsicle stick. This one comes in with your transfer tube. And then the plastic one is also available with your redesign with Prima retailers. Um, and that just, there's a little bit more, kind of more detail. Um, it's a bit thinner than the, than the stick, but I, I use both, um, to be honest. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so those of you on Instagram, if you haven't already, if you can pop over and um, follow me, that would be awesome. So I'm pretty sure it's Gracie's, uh, Gracie's underscore house UK, I think. Uh, but it's Gracie's house UK. And on Facebook, if you haven't already, do the same. Do you know what? You can go over to Instagram and like and follow me too. That would be great. <laughs> um, again, there's there's some links on Facebook. I, I get I couldn't work out how to put the comments in the description for the live on Instagram. I might have to. It, it came up with a title and it wouldn't let me add anything. We are just, we're trying. Um, but yes, yeah, so there's a, there's a link to, for you to show, to find a retailer. And that's bricks and mortar or online. There's also a link, and this is on Facebook guys, sorry Instagram, I didn't miss out on this. There's also a link if you want to buy through my affiliate link. I've got one for um, the two different ones, one for American customers and one for UK customers. those pieces around on the inside edge of my door to give a neat finish. Around this hinge like I did earlier I shall just scrape that um, scrape that off with a craft knife. Missed what I said we, I sealed it with. Um, okay so it, I will seal this one will have um, paint couture. I'm using paint couture at the moment. Um, the satin 
is the satin top coat is to die for but if you go on to the redesign with prima group on facebook and um, there's a file section and you can go up the top into the file section it gives you a whole recommended list of water-based uh, varnish type products top coats and also waxes you can use and um, waxes are particularly good if you're putting transfers onto leather or clothing stuff like that or if you just if you're a waxy girl some people don't like nor you know some people much prefer using wax wax is fine you can apply these transfers to mirrors glass when people put them on windows um, they don't need sealing if you're doing glass, but obviously be mindful that they're more for a decorative, uh, a decorative piece rather than a tabletop, um, because you don't need to, because you can't, you'd affect, you'd, you'd, the glass would go cloudy. No worries, Ren. You're welcome. I think we're just about going to get this piece off, and then I'll. So this is where we cut our branch. Can you tell? You're quite far away, I admit. <laughs> uh, Shabby Dabby Doo, do I have a YouTube channel? Yes, I do, Grace's House. Um, yeah, Grace's House. I can't even remember if it's got a UK on it. But look, for, search for Grace's House. I'm sure I'll be there. where I cut there's a section that would have grown out of here and carried on as the, the kind of all over details in this transfer are stunning in all of them they're all like all of them are stunning to be fair <laughs> It takes me longer because I'm talking to you and answering things, but um, <laughs> these things do take time. Some of them will go really quickly, as I said, if you're dealing with a completely flat surface, uh, you know, much, much easier to deal with. But if you can break it into these sections like we've done today, it's a really good way of making it manageable. Oh, thank you, Teresa. Uh, do you know what? I wish I'd have done this months ago, like I planned. <laughs> exactly like I planned. I don't know why I listen to him. He doesn't, he's not creative. <laughs> One of your favorites, lovely. It, do you know what? Oh, it just makes you smile, doesn't it? It really, I haven't used it in a while. And it's making me smile again. Oh, 
I was grumpy, but you know what I mean? Not gonna lie, last week was flustering me. I, the curves, they flustered me. that I'm going to put here. I'll have to plan that. Um, but just to show you. So I shall just, you know what I'm going to do? All I'm going to do is just cut that piece there. I haven't got room. I don't want to cut the bird's head off. So again, it's just planning ahead. It was like it was meant to be. So I shall just, I'll cut that branch off there and it will just be that tiny piece that we add onto the top. And then I will add a little tiny piece here just to create kind of a bit of a frame. Anything else? Um, Daysville. Oh, yeah, we spoke. Teresa, the curves. I, oh, do you know what? I don't even know if I want to talk about the curves. <laughs> um, Joan. Hi, Joan. Sorry I missed you coming on. Yeah, do you know what? It looks so much better with that on it. Do you know, it would be really interesting. I do hope it sells quickly now. <laughs> Oops. Anyway, guys, thanks. Thanks for joining me. I hope this has been an informative hour for you. Um, Oh, working with one of my favourites and it has made me smile, so this is good. Today's a good day. The sun is shining. I hope you have a fantastic day. For me, it's just turning two o'clock, so I think for a lot of you over in the US, it's kind of around the nine o'clock in the morning time. Um, so you're just starting your days and I hope you have a fantastic one. Um, thanks for joining me. This is my slot. I'll be here this time next week. Instagram, I will probably see you again this time next week too. And... Um, Drop me some love on the page. And if you're watching on replay, just drop me a hashtag replay in the comments. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Bye. Sorry, Tom.